Hi everyone, today is day 6 of my floral watercolour challenge, one a day, so one more day to go. Um, I have not filmed the process of this painting because, I don't know, I just um, kind of didn't think of filming it, but I, later I regret it because um, it's... Um, a different watercolor technique I tried this time to create this texture and actually this particular orchid I chose to paint is quite complicated I hope you can see um, I have never seen an orchid so this is when it's still when it's freshly opened it has green um, on the um, leaves and it's still a little bit curled I have never seen orchid like that um, before and I tried to capture it by adding the green over here. Um, now I have tried to add some dimension and um, mixed up the colors here slightly more and then stayed the same colors here, trying to bring this orchid slightly into the foreground because I was afraid that the green will take the attention in this orchid. So um, from that point it was actually a, a complicated process. Also the fact that the orchid is actually white and it has the purple stains on it. Um, I, I think it might be called the tiger uh, orchid but I, I think this is what I um, I would call it anyway because it just it looks really beautiful. And so here is the orchid when it is fully opened and um, yeah so I've been um, looking at it in the way that this orchid is um, facing that way and this orchid is facing this way and also as you can see there is no bud here there was a flower which my son pulled off yesterday and I thought to end the composition I should add a bud of an orchid um, we all know what a bud looks like before the orchid opens or you can just google it and see and then I have also added little um, tiger spots not tiger spots but some um, kind of would it be more uh, of a leopard orchid actually rather than tiger um, yeah so some of those spots just to um, bring it all together and in a way I think it's a lovely composition because it has um, a flower that is fully opened, a flower that has recently opened and a baby bud that is about to open. So um, that is that and then I am quite happy how these bits came out because I have, whenever I've, I have been painting orchids I suffered with this area here with the lip of the orchid. It has this sort of like a tongue sticking out um, with two spikes and it's um, really hard to paint because it's so thin and delicate and I figured out the way to do it is to uh, put uh, to make the bit that is in the foreground the darkest and then the lip itself that is slightly in the background slightly lighter so that way you can see the lip comes out there is no other way of doing it if you um, look at the nature, it is similar actually because these are more vibrant than the back part here. I mean, it's a stunning orchid and I kind of want to film it and I will take pictures as well just to remember it, um, how it looks before it opens fully. It's, it's stunning, the details of it, it's like, it's got this very strong cobra looking um, tongue and yeah, um, stunning orchid. So um, I will go ahead and use my beloved ink pen Pilot GTEC C4 0 0.4 and um, add the details because at the moment you know it just needs the petals to be um, more um, detailed and brought out because they are layered here and at the moment it kind of looks slightly confusing so yeah that is what i wanted to share and um, also the the slight process of it as you can see um, i have 
changed the green stem it's not like that in here here what we have is just this part and then the orchid connects behind which you can't see because it's here and then we have this broken off bit and then a baby a little tiny flower right here so it's not it doesn't look interesting and because of my page i had to bring these flowers close closer together and that way i couldn't paint what the original way the flowers are on the stem and like i said because i had to add the bud over here i um, ended up connecting the flowers in this area and then just so that um, it doesn't look like this orchid is flowing in the air i had to put the stem here i tried it in many other case uh, places before i tried it over here i tried it here and none of them worked because it just looked funny it kind of would look like it's curled like this which doesn't happen in nature very often um, if it would be straight i didn't have much space here and i kind of thought it would look boring this way it looks more natural i think because orchids tend to have that sort of um, unless you are um, securing them to the to the stick here they tend to kind of um, grow like that to the side and fall down so so that's what I've done here and yeah I'm, I'm quite happy and um, like I said unfortunately I haven't filmed the process of these um, stains and if you want me to show you how to create these this is a wet on wet technique which i don't use very often because what happens is with wet on wet the color tends to be one dimensional rather than the way i generally paint i adding the color first and then the water so um yeah so then on top of it i had to go over with this super fine three zero um, brush and add the leopard um, stains um, on the orchids to give it more dimension to bring it out a little bit more so yeah that's it and um, hope you enjoyed this short video oh actually yes i'm going to go in and ink it and show you the difference what it looks like when it's finished so now I have gone ahead and inked this flower and I left um, this flower uninked to compare them side by side. Um, you can see that now you can uh, very clearly see where the petal starts and which petal is layered. Um, and in hand side, I think I shouldn't have put the ink over the um, over this spike spike bit here um, just because I prefer how it looks here it's more delicate and I don't think I needed to do this and um, over here I added this little detail which has the it's the cap where the seats are so um, again not sure whether it works really well but the rest I'm happy with um, and there is some detail over this butt here as well so I'm going to go ahead and finish this flower so the second flower is now finished too and I prefer this tongue a lot more this spiky tongue here to this so in future I would definitely leave out the inking around these delicate spikes because it's um, it has ruined it a little bit for me in this flower and this is how I really like it so yeah so this is the finished um, look and as you can see you you can clearly now identify where the these parts of the orchid are uh, whereas before it was all together you what you couldn't figure out what this white bit was what was the you know the part of the flower so here is this thin neck of this lip and here is this neck 
of this lip and what I mean is if you look at the back here this is the neck that holds out so underneath the cap where the seats are there is this neck that comes out and holds this beautiful tongue so that's what I was trying to create over here so I hope you enjoyed this video um, it's a short one this time and yeah let me know in the, in the um, comment box whether you would like to see a process video of how to create these stains um, and the wet and wet technique. Thanks for watching and see you soon.